Here we're going to tie a fly called the Missing Link by Mike Mercer. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get our dark olive thread started. And we're going to tie in a piece of crystal flash on the thorax. And I'm just going to take my thread and wrap it down the shank of the hook. And I'm going to take it just around the bend, just a hair. I'm going to take that thread and work it forward as smoothly as possible. For this fly, the thread will be the body of the fly. So we want to make it look nice and smooth, even. Now we're going to take that crystal flash and I'm actually going to wrap it around the thread, spiral it forward and rib the body. This adds a nice rib but it also gives the fly a little bit of flash. Helps the fish find it. I'm going to capture that crystal flash at the thorax. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to dub a small thorax with some peacock ice dub. And you've got to be very careful not to overdo it at this step. You only want about three quarters of an inch of dubbing on your thread and dub just enough to coat the thread. If you overdo it too much, it'll become way too bulky. The proportions will not be correct. So just a little bit. We're just going to build up a little ball. That's all. Just enough for a little thorax. There we go. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the crippled legs. And for that, we're going to use some tan antron. And the trick to these crippled legs is you want the antron to be nice and long. Because if it's too short, when we go to tie in our wing and wrap our hackle, the antron will actually get in the way and get all caught up in the fly. So I like my pieces to be well over two inches long or so. And we're just going to tie this in on each side of the fly. And I actually split up the antron clump, so I use about half the clump of antron. I don't use the entire clump. If you do, it'll be way too much. And I do this for each side of the fly. Now once we get both those tied in, we just clean up the head region. I'm actually going to draw this antron down, just like so. Kind of pull it a little bit so it stays there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tie in our wing. For that we're going to use bleached elk hair. I'm going to use less than half the width of a or half the diameter of a pencil of hair. That's less than half the diameter. I don't want to use too much. Most uh, most of the time I accidentally use too much at this step and I think a lot of other tires do too. We're going to put it in a hair stacker. Stack it so the tips are even. We want this wing to be about the length of the shank of the hook. So I just roughly measure it out, do a nice loose wrap at first, and then tighten down. Give it three or four good wraps. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all those fibers, I'm going to draw them up. I'm going to go around all of them, trying not to, dra to trap any of those fibers in the process. There we go. Usually I go around a couple of times. I'm going to take my thread right to the eye of the hook. This step I'm actually going to do a two turn whip finish just to kind of keep everything in place. Keep everything from rolling around on me. There we go. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a done hackle feather. I'm going to tie this in. I'm 
we're going to wrap this hackle feather around all the tips and butt ends of the feathers. So before I wrap it, I make sure they're all drawn up nicely. That way when I go to do that first wrap, I don't trap too many of them. So I'm just going to take that feather Make sure, try not to trap any of those. There we go. I'm just going to parachute this hackle around all this hair. And it doesn't need to be really full and really bulky. Just needs to be enough. So usually six or so turns is plenty. I'm going to lift up all those fibers. Try to get them out of the way and capture the hackle. Try not to trap too many of them. Trim out any of the pieces that we did accidentally trap. Lift it up once more and try to clean them all up very carefully. It's kind of hard with some of these small hackles. Now we're ready to whip finish our last time. Try to get under all those hackles. Now we're ready to spruce the fly up a little here since we kind of mangled it after those last few steps. So we're going to take those legs pull them up again to each side of the fly just basically how we want them there we go pull that wing We're gonna pull the butt ends forward split them there we go spruce up the hackle after we smashed it a little bit now we're gonna trim these legs Hold them tight to the back of the hook. We're going to trim them the length of the body. Then they're going to flare out to the side, just like so. Then we're going to draw up the butt ends of these hackles, or the wing. Pull them forward. Get in there nice and tight. Try not to cut any hackle. Trim off those butt ends of the hair. Flare up that wing, and there you have it, the Mercer's missing link.